Alexandria, Caesar. King Ptolemy awaits you. To rule, Caesar. Twelve. Twelve. Oh. I am old enough to rule. And you are? I'm Arsinoe, Queen of Egypt. Not according to your father. My father's dead. But he paid his debts to Rome, Arsinoe. Caesar, I may explain. Who is this man? Pothinus, the king's prime minister. Later. Where is your eldest sister? Cleopatra has left the country. Yes. Do you have our money? Cleopatra's scheming has brought our country to its knees. Under the present circumstances. Unfortunately, we are unable to pay our debt to Rome. There is no problem. I'll simply take it. Great Caesar. Go on. If you were to support Arsinoe as queen... I will ensure the peace and prosperity of this nation. Caesar, where is your army? Pelusium. Ah. Defending Egypt from Cleopatra. She must be very dangerous to you. I'd like to meet this girl who calls herself a goddess. Come with me. Who are you? I'm Olympus, the Queen's physician. Quickly. Your Majesty. I'm told you're the most accomplished courtesan of Ashkelon. I want a man to fall in love with me. I see. But there's so much to tell. Is there an art to it? To making love? Oh, yes. Like to be touched. But every man is different. This man is a conqueror. Such a man is easy to take to bed, but it's harder to hold his interest. You must always make him believe, no matter how much you've given him. There's still more to conquer. Hmm. Remarkable, isn't it? It is indeed. So you can see the beam 35 miles out to sea. Put news on Ptolemy's army. They haven't moved. Still at the border, guarding against Cleopatra. How many men? 20,000. If they turn on us, we'll be outnumbered five to one. 
Pay the Caesar. Ina Barbus. We've loaded six ships with grain. Good. That'll be enough to cover Ptolemy's debt to us for the moment. We don't want the people to starve. Most of the grain has been taken by the Royal Army for its war against Cleopatra. What's left is being plundered. Bring me the Royal Stormmaster. Mighty Caesar, you must believe me. I had no part in stealing that grain. Execute him. No! No, please! I can return it. Was Pothinus! Was Pothinus! Pothinus? He's probably selling it to our enemies in the east. That he one can castrate a human. What's going on? I have to go in! Do something! I'm sorry, Imperator, but this man says he has a gift for you. A beautiful rug, sire. From Queen Cleopatra? From Cleopatra? Leave it there. Oh, but you have not examined it yet. Tomorrow. Your Majesty, I mean, sire. Queen Cleopatra insisted I unroll it in your presence at once. Then do so. How many men do we have guarding the harbor? Two centuries. Triple them. We mustn't lose control of the port. We place your men here. Here and here. If they attack us, the harbor's our only way out. I am the daughter of Isis. Cleopatra. Caesar. Hmm. And what brings you to Caesar? My father was a loyal ally to Rome, and it was me he crowned before he died. I am the true ruler of Egypt. Your sister thinks differently. Arsinoe is a liar. And young Ptolemy? A witless boy who's been manipulated by a deceitful regent. It's in your interest to set things right. And why should I choose you over them? I am my father's successor. The people know this. They will support me. The people? The people would be quite happy to see you and every last member of this dynasty fed to the crocodiles of the Nile. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sure you must be too. You should go to bed now. Where? Once it's known I'm in the palace, my family will have me killed. There is only one bed that is safe for me. Yours. I don't think that would be prudent. Caesar is not known for his prudence. But for his boldness.
This is not necessary. It will not affect my power of decision. I never touch a woman who doesn't wish me to. Nor will you tonight. We must take immediate steps to restore the people's confidence in their leaders, or Egypt will plunge into anarchy. Agreed? Certainly. And what better way to achieve the stability than for Caesar to proclaim Arsinoe and Ptolemy? Mm. What is she doing here? She came to see me last night. An interesting conversation. I'm surprised that Great Caesar would discuss anything with Egypt's enemy. He was eager to learn the truth. How you and Pothinus conspired to get rid of me. How you poisoned our brother's thoughts against me. Poisoned his thoughts? There was no need for that. Even a mere boy could see what a treacherous scheming. You are the one that has betrayed. Silence! Both of you. You have two very high-spirited sisters. Caesar, if you would allow me... Young Ptolemy, as long as your late father continued to pay his debts to Rome, Rome always respected Egypt's sovereignty. You will continue to rule as king, with your sister Cleopatra as queen. This is outrageous! <laughs> Furthermore, I have decided that you Cleopatra will marry. Never. I will not marry a child. You are an Egyptian princess. According to ancient Egyptian tradition, royal incest between brother and sister is quite acceptable, however distasteful in breeding may seem to others. In this case, it will serve its purpose and preserve the unity of Egypt. Don't pretend you care about Egypt. I care very much about Egypt. Egypt is a source of great wealth. I will not have you bankrupt the country in a civil war. What about me? You can have Cyprus. I'll restore it to the house of Ptolemy. Cyprus. It's not enough. Caesar, may I Your ask? Finance. Your services to the king will be rewarded. That will be all. Queen Cleopatra, you may stay. How 
could you do that? I just made you queen of Egypt. Am I supposed to thank you? Hmm? Understand. I didn't do this out of courtesy, and certainly not out of infatuation. I expect you to bring order to this country and pay your debts to Rome. I am simply ensuring the future of my investment. And the sooner I can get out of this viper's nest, the better. Viper's nest? <laughs> you made it so! I made it so? Yes. You, with your Roman greed and arrogance, blackmailing my father year after year, forcing him to buy peace with Rome. If I would have been ruler, you would have had war instead. And you'd have lost everything. Learn to be a queen. I am a queen! No, you are not. Not yet. You must learn to think like a queen. Strategically. And you start by accepting a joint monarchy with Ptolemy, so we can demobilize his army. My friends, let us all wear the garlands of gladness and celebration. Today, King Ptolemy and Queen Cleopatra have consented to live in harmony as man and wife and rule as one. With peace and friendship now restored amongst the royal household, there is no longer need for show of arms. It gives me great pleasure to honor and to entrust our most respected friend, Pothinus, with the task of carrying this great news most urgently to Pelusium, there to disband the royal army and bring the soldiers home in peace. <laughs> Caesar's personal escort awaits you. Send him to Pelusium. He will take control of the army for his own purposes. Hmm. Walk with me. Well, you did so. You're not shocked? Shocked? <laughs> Such things as this are not strange to me. Open negotiations with the Egyptian generals. Send them his head. I was not expecting to see you. You idiot! Why did you let Cleopatra get past you? Alert your warships to set sail for Alexandria. We march at first light. Come on. Imperator, our sinewy is gone. Ptolemy too. They both vanished from the city. They've gone to Pelusium. To Ptolemy's army to drive us both out of Alexandria. Assemble my staff at once. You must defend here, here, and here. I'll need more men. Reinforcements are days away. We must hold the harbor. Otherwise, the enemy will smash our fleet. Caesar! The Egyptians are on the march. 
They will attack by land and sea. The enemy's numbers are too great. We cannot hold. We will lose all. Abandon the harbor. We let them into the city. But there is no way out. If we lose, you lose your empire. This battle does not have to be fought. Return to Rome, Caesar. You have no choice. No. If we fight within the walls of the city, we can trap them. All streets lead to the palace square. Destroy them there, Caesar. You read my mind, Cleopatra. There is always choice, Rufio. We will fight them in the streets, and when victory is within the palm of their hands, we will strike with all our might. My countrymen, you and I have risked all before and won. Now we raise the stakes. The prize is Egypt. Rebel 
horsemen have broken through. We must find somewhere safe, Your Majesty. Your Majesty! Arsino and Ptolemy. We haven't found them yet. They won't get far. It's not over yet.
You're now the sole ruler of Egypt. What do you intend to do? I will unite this land and bring prosperity back to my country. Egypt's debt to Caesar will be paid abundantly. Where is Arsinoe? We've taken her prisoner. And? You had my brother killed. Why haven't you killed her? You are going to keep her, aren't you? And use her against me! Asinui is valuable to me. She's mine. No. Where is she? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. My orders are to allow no visitors. I am the Queen of Egypt, and you are in my palace. Now step aside. Are you going to kill me now? Not just yet. Tell me, Arsinoe. Do you agree for our poor brother? Do you? He was your enemy as I am. You made him so! I was only trying to protect him from you. You who would do anything to guarantee your power. Even turn yourself into Caesar's whore. I am not his whore! I am his conqueror! You've given away our kingdom! You killed our father! That's a lie! You tried to poison his mind. Turn him against me! And when you wouldn't listen, you poisoned his body! You murdered him! It's not true. I loved father. You don't know what love is. You, with all your jealousy and greed, your lust for power. You sicken me. But it will end tonight. If you kill me, Caesar will turn against you. He'll see you for what you really are, a snake and a whore. Do you think Caesar will still want you on the throne of Egypt after he grows tired of you in his bed? Do you? Children are born.
paradise. Thank you for bringing me here. Why did you resist me? Because I'm Roman. Because I hate idleness. Because erotic sensuality is a kind of treason. <laughs> then Egypt is conquering Rome, my lord. I don't care. Do I make you happy? Yes. <laughs> Look, Egypt's wealth, your prize. With Egypt's bounty, you could conquer the East, the whole world. Forget I read your mind. <laughs> Do it. Together. Egypt and Rome. The greatest empire the world has ever known. Caesar, Cleopatra. A new dynasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased to see your ambitions are of such manageable proportions, <laughs> my queen. Your queen. And your Roman wife. What of her? I haven't seen her for years. Has she given you any children? I had a daughter, Julia. She died. Who made her or why? She's a mystery. Just like you. She guards the tombs of the dead kings. The pyramids. Forgotten kings. Whose only enduring memory is their tombs and this stone god crumbling and wasting into the desert sand. Futile. The city of the dead. Only gods live forever. I must return to Rome. No, stay with me here in Egypt. When I am with you, I lose myself. You have enchanted me, Cleopatra. I must return. Oh. I am determined to conquer and rule this world. I will not leave crumbling stone behind, but a new world order. That will change the present and the lives of history to come. King Pharnaces has overrun our province in Pontus. All the Roman citizens there have been killed or castrated. What else? Mark Antony sent an urgent dispatch from Rome. Your enemies are stirring up the Senate against you. Brutus in particular. What's he saying now? That you've lost interest in the affairs of the Republic, preferring a life of luxury in Egypt. Luxury! Oh, I knew it! <laughs> a 
I thought I gave you something to prevent this from happening. Perhaps I wanted this child. Why? <laughs> oh, because it will be Caesar's. He'll protect his child and Egypt along with it. He'll never be allowed to claim the child. Rome will not tolerate the mixing of Caesar's blood with that of an Eastern queen. He has already shaken Rome to its foundations. He can do anything he wants. He is a god. <laughs> I have known you since childhood. Tell me the truth. Are you plotting strategy or have you fallen in love? Perhaps there's no difference. <laughs> When will you tell him? I'm leaving you three legions. That'll be enough to keep the peace. Now guard Cleopatra with your life. Let no harm come to her. And make sure she does no harm to Rome. What are you doing? Leaving my life of luxury? Now? How long do you suggest I wait? I have a war to fight, and I have to remind the Roman Senate of who's in charge. I have to tell you something. Well, what is it? I need you here. Egypt needs you. Egypt will have to wait. Well, don't you want to protect your investment? I am facing famine, revolts, riots, you... You are the queen of Egypt. I leave that to you. If you leave me now, you will lose your greatest province. You will lose me. Cleopatra! I will, I will come back. The gods are not that cruel, but these things must be done. Look for a brief moment. You and I were alone in the world, but, but now that moment is over. Rome must be avenged and my power restored. show disrespect for Caesar's ambition. But you have never credited his character or his compassion. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Octavius, you love your uncle. I love Caesar. But he is neglecting Rome. Yes, yes, yes. He is wasting his time in a useless desert province. I wouldn't call Egypt useless. It's essential to the Roman Empire. Caesar has shamed Rome by his adulterous behavior. Ooh, Thank lies, you, Cassius. Lies. Whatever Caesar does, he does for a reason. He does for Rome. But Antony, how can you ignore his indifference when his fellow countrymen, his fellow Romans, are being butchered? Who butchered put in down this street. insurrection in Pontus? Who will avenge Rome? It will not be you and your rhetoric, Brutus. It will be Caesar. That's very good, Antony. If we can find him. You have 
found him. You were saying, Brutus? The Senate! Welcome home, Imperator. <laughs> This man slit his brother's throat over a gambling debt. Execute him. This man was drunk and uh, drowned his four young children. His own children? Execution. Greetings, exalted queen. I have news for you. Shannon, hire us quickly. Put your hands. <laughs> He's already got Caesar's strength. <laughs> Rufio, I hope you've kept your promise. It would displease me greatly if word of this reached Rome. Your secret is safe with me, Your Majesty. I have news from Caesar. It's a copy of his Senate report. Mardian, he has conquered Pontus. Is that one from Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation for you to visit him in Rome. It's not even signed by him. It's from one of his aides. It's more like a summons. He wants me in attendance when he celebrates his victory. Why hasn't he written to me himself? Well, he does have the whole world on his mind, Your Majesty. Perhaps it was not convenient for him to write Not you. convenient! Perhaps it is not convenient for me to leave Egypt. <laughs> Tell his aide. I have declined his invitation. I beg your pardon? I am the queen of Egypt. I go only where I want and when it pleases me to do so. You may be excused, Rufio. Next case. This man assaulted a Roman officer while breaking into a granary. Oh, it's a key. Did you say he attacked a Roman officer? Yes. What is your name? Guilherius. Why did you steal my grain? Have you failed to notice that your people are starving? Are you blind? Oh. No wonder the people hate you. They're your children, but you care nothing for them. You give them nothing but fear. Well, I'm not afraid of you, Queen Cleopatra. Set him free. Pardon my intrusion, Your Majesty. This man assaulted a Roman soldier. It's therefore a Roman matter. Then why was his death warrant brought to me for my approval? <laughs> that was a courtesy. Nevertheless, he had cause. Release him at once. The granary is full, is it not? To the brim, Your Majesty. It's full, and the people are starving. It's being reserved for export to Rome, Your Majesty. My father's eternal debt to Caesar. It's time to put a stop to it. No, Your Majesty, no! Your Majesty! Come away from here! Return to the palace and wait there! I'll handle this! Wait for what? Another civil war? I can't protect you here!
people's grain, not the Romans. Come, take it. If we take it, they'll kill us. In the name of my unborn child, no Roman shall touch a single grain until the people of Egypt are fed. Commander, withdraw your men. Trust me, I'm not your enemy. Take it. without Caesar's permission. I'll name him whatever I choose. That's a dangerous fantasy. Caesar cannot even acknowledge him as his own son, much less proclaim him as heir. My dearest queen, you are forcing the hand of the most powerful man in the world. Are there many people out there? All of Egypt. What are you doing? You've just given birth. My people need to see me. Cleopatra? Your Highness? Hello? Who are you? I'm Mark Antony, the Imperator's Master of the Horse. 
I apologize for Caesar not being able to greet you personally. But there is delicate business in Rome that he must attend to. He begged me to reassure you of his esteem and affection for your royal person. Especially the affection. Wait for me outside, horse master. Separate litter. Keep him well out of sight. Go. So, how do you like our fine country? Of course, it must be hard to see from inside there. You smell that pine in the air? It's invigorating, isn't it? You know, I used to hunt here as a boy. What exactly does it mean, master of the horse? It means that I serve Caesar. I have his trust and his friendship. Then you're his servant. No. I'm a commander in his army. to use for as long as you like. Where does he live with his wife? At a principal house he has in the city, near the Temple of Vesta in the Forum. But this is the house he prefers. Understandably, because it is this. A view. It looks so peaceful. Peaceful as a sleeping wolf. It's a dangerous place right now, especially for Caesar. What do you mean? The more powerful he grows, the more vulnerable he becomes. Romans tend to distrust a man that sets himself above them. And you? Do you distrust him? Me? No, I love him. He is greatness itself. Well. I must be going. Please communicate anything you should require. When will Caesar come to me? He's arranged a welcome reception for you tomorrow at his house, before the Triumph Parade. Until then, Majesty. Is it? His name is Ptolemy Caesar, but I've taken to calling him Caesarea. He's mine. You had a child and you didn't tell me. I'd have a son. I couldn't see myself. <laughs> Will you tell that to Rome? I cannot claim this child as my own. 
but he is yours. This would do me great harm in Rome. He must remain a secret between us. Promise me. Cleopatra, you must promise me. For now. The Queen of Egypt. Welcome to Rome, Your Highness, and to my home. We have all been most anxious to see you. My wife, Calpurnia. I am honored to meet the wife of the great Caesar. The honor belongs to me, Your Majesty. Since my husband thinks of you so fondly, how can I not feel the same? My nephew Gaius Octavius and his sister Octavia. You should get to know Octavius. He's the future of Rome. Is that true, Octavius? It's Caesar's legacy that will be the future of Rome. Or it's ruin. My harshest critic and dearest friend, Marcus Brutus. You express yourself with remarkable freedom, Marcus Brutus. In Egypt, you would be strangled on the spot. Oh, it's just Brutus's way. It's the Roman way. There are no kings here, Your Majesty. You see, all men in Rome are equal. And those of us that love the Republic would like to keep it that way. Your country has proved to be rich in plunder for my husband. That's not plunder. Those are gifts I gave freely to Caesar. Are you sure? They're being displayed as spoils of war. What are they saying? I believe they're saying Caesar's whore, Your Majesty. Our calendar's based upon the moon, which makes the year imprecise. Surely you're not suggesting you want to change the calendar, Caesar? I want to improve it. By reordering the very days of our lives, surely that's the province of a god. The Queen of Egypt! Time doesn't need your protection, Brutus. Greetings, Queen Cleopatra. We welcome your you must forgive our Roman ways. If the Queen thinks so little of our Roman ways, perhaps she should go back to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> you have enjoyed the spoils of war. Now let me show you Egypt's greatest treasure. Is your son, Ptolemy Caesar. I lay him at your feet. Sí, 
Caesar's son. You have no proof of the matter. Caesar, do not touch him. If you touch him, you claim him. son. His name is Ptolemy Caesar. <laughs> Seems to have a rival, Octavius. I underestimated you. Do you know what you've just done? You forced my hand in my own capital. And what am I? A whore? Happy to bury your bastard son? I am a queen, and Caesarion is your heir. He is my son. Octavius is my heir. Octavius is not your flesh and blood. He is Roman. I should go back to Egypt, where my son will grow up to have real power and fulfill his destiny. If he is allowed to. Our son will only fulfill his destiny if Egypt remains free and independent from Rome. Now, that is in my power. Egypt is only free because I wish it so. And you remain its queen solely at my pleasure. Because I fell in love with you. How much do you love me? I would lose everything rather than lose you. Caesar, nephew, I'm very troubled. About what? The Egyptian queen and that child she has tricked you into claiming as your own. The child is my own, Octavius. Caesar, Cleopatra is using you to advance her own fortunes. Everyone can see this but you. And now this child, you have to do something. Do what, Octavius? Get rid of him. That child is a threat to you. My son is no threat to me, Octavius. Neither is he to you. You are my heir in Rome. His life is in Egypt. But if you harm one hair of my boy's head, I'll finish you. I'll be very careful, I promise. You are quite the Dionysian. When it suits me, Your Highness. It is. I fought hundreds of men in my time, but I must say your presence disarms me. I envy Caesar. Too fortunate Caesar, then. Beloved by the gods, to have you as a prize. When will he come to me? Have you seen him? What's the matter? Ah! Uh. 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 
for achievement transcend human experience. They are absolute and superhuman. I claim this title as a right, as dictator for life and demigod. I will crush the rebellion in Spain. I will secure our borders in Syria and Africa and encircle the Mediterranean in a ring of iron. Then, my countrymen, we will turn the might of Rome to the east for the conquest of our greatest enemy and for our greatest prize. What did I say? Parthia, the glory of Rome, will shine brighter than the sun. Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! For life, a king. A king. Oh, Caesar, you need to shake yourself free of the pettiness of Roman thought. Claim more, not less. Make them honor you as a god. No wonder I love you so much. I'm going to claim my greatest prize. Parthia. Yes, but I'll need your help. We'll conquer it together, Cleopatra. You and I. Egypt and Rome as allies, hand in hand. Do you dare to realize our great dream? I will always dare, Caesar. But first, you must divorce Calpurnia, marry me, and proclaim Caesarian your heir. I can't do that. It would finish Rome. Well, then finish it. Create something new, something greater. No. Caesar is Rome. My ambitions are boundless, Cleopatra. But they are Roman ambitions. Then our dream is a lie. I should go back to Egypt where I am a queen and a goddess in my own right. And not merely your consort. No, I forbid it. You must stay with me. You forbid it? Are you giving me orders? I didn't mean it like that. I meant it would be to our mutual benefit. What benefit is it to me? To Egypt? If you succeed against Parthia, I will still be Caesar's whore, and my son will still be his bastard. If you fail, I will have the wrath of Parthia upon my people. Caesar will not fail. Father, when you can't even see. 
see your precious heirs trying to murder our son. Do not speak against Octavius. I will speak. I am a mother. I know it in my heart. My child is in danger. Our child. The future of Rome. His future is in Egypt. His destiny is greater than that. He joins two worlds as your heir. It cannot be. It will not be. You are nothing to me! Nothing! Caesar! Caesar, where are you going? Go home, Queen Cleopatra. Go home to Egypt! I will conquer Parthia without you. Space of Rome, a statue to his hall. It's preposterous. Such arrogance. A pity. He used to be strong. Now he's ruled by weakness and indecent pleasure. He has a son. He will betray you too, Octavius. He listens now only to Cleopatra. What is it you want from me? Stand with us against him. For the good of the Republic, Octavius. For Rome. I can never betray Caesar. But I won't stand against you. seem troubled today. Caesar. Caesar. Mark Antony Fulvia requests an immediate audience with you. <laughs> Go on. Brutus, I cannot and will not support this petition. Fulvia is not home today. I'm sure you're mistaken. No, I'm not. I am Caesar! Do it!
Here lies the body of Caesar. Here lies the heart and soul of Rome. All this he dreamed. All this he built. All this he conquered. Romans? Romans! There are those who said that his dreams were too vast. Arrogance, they said. I say vision. They could not abide his greatness because they felt too small beside it. So these small men, they did this. They cut the heart out of Rome. You remember what they did to this man? Because I swear to you, my countrymen, to my last dying breath, I will avenge his death. I will avenge Caesar. I will avenge Rome. Mark Antony, let me die with honor.
Anthony. Congratulations on your great victory. It's a pity you were too ill to take part. There will be other battles. Yes, I'm sure of it. Cassius is dead. By his own hand. Excellent. <sighs> it's been a long, hard struggle. But Caesar is avenged. Three years is long enough. It isn't over yet. Brutus is still at large. He too perished by his own hand. And he died a respectable death. Why did you do this? Because I planned to take the traitor's head back to Rome to lay at the head of Caesar's statue. Caesar would have never desecrated the bodies of his enemies. He murdered Caesar. He was an assassin. And you are a butcher! Ah. Octavius will invade Egypt. It's just a matter of time. Octavius might be too busy, Your Majesty. He and Mark Antony are now ruling Rome as one. What do you make of that, Rufio? Unlikely allies, Your Highness. Sooner or later, there will be a reckoning between them. And when that reckoning comes, which side will you choose? How long can I rely on you to protect Egypt? To my death, Your Majesty. It was Caesar's wish. There is no mention of Caesarian in Caesar's will. And without Caesar to protect us, who's going to guarantee our independence? I will. I'm building ships. We will soon have a great navy to defend our borders. It will cost us a fortune, Your Majesty. All that matters is keeping Octavius out! He has already tried to kill my son once, and he will try again. What do you say? Do you intend to wage war on Octavius? I intend to protect my child. We'll be ready. Ready with the most powerful fleet in the world. I want to show you a very wonderful thing in the night sky. Look. Is that a shaping star? No, my love. That is your father. He's taking his place for the gods. He's there to watch over you. Your father. The great Caesar. We call her a six. Three tiers of oars on each side. There is no vessel on the seas mightier than this. Fast enough. Well, there are faster ships. But what is speed over power? She was built to do battle, not race. And she is unsinkable. How many of these ships altogether? Over 200, Your Majesty. Good. I'm greatly pleased. This will bankrupt Egypt, you know. Better a bankrupt Egypt than a conquered one. And what will we do with this navy? Do you honestly expect to go up against all the might of Rome? Perhaps not all of it. The fleet is ready. Where is Mark Antony now? In Tarsus, I believe. Tarsus. That's halfway here. Then I must bring him all the way. I must go there at once. The future of Egypt depends on it. Prepare the royal barge. For war. For... For war? Yes. A different kind of war. So... We are running out of provisions, and the men have not been paid for months. They love you now, Imperator, but how long will it last? What is that? 
queen of Egypt. Who else? Welcome, Dionysus. Well, this is an unexpected pleasure. You never came to Egypt to visit me. Well, you never invited me. For three years I've waited. You were too busy fighting wars. I'm never that busy. Shall we retire? Of course. To dinner. Because you were Caesar's friend. Because you're my friend. Brave gentlemen, allow me to salute you all for your valor and loyalty to Mark Antony. To Mark Antony! To Antony's new friendship with Egypt. As a token of that friendship, I offer you this trifle of a gift. <laughs> to celebrate the new alliance between Mark Antony and the Queen of Egypt. <laughs> In a generous mood. Why are you doing this? Egypt is bountiful. It pleases me to share her riches. Why are you trying to bribe me? I don't bribe, Antony. I command. If you truly wish to be my ally... But I am your ally. I just want to be more than that. We will talk tomorrow when you're more in possession of yourself. Good night. Wait. Wait. you. Why have you put on this charade? How dare you invade my privacy? Leave us. Did you come all the way here just to make a fool of me? Leave this room at once. All night long you toy with me and then you deny me. You don't want me. No, I don't want you. Then damn it, woman, what do you want? It's not what I want. It's what you must do. We can rule Egypt and Rome together. You and I, with my son on the throne. What are you saying? Are you mad? If we don't, Octavius will kill us both. Can't you see that? No, all I see is a mad queen. An enchantress who's lusting for power. And all I see is a common soldier lusting for sport. You just follow orders, groveling before Octavius. Grovel? I grovel before no man and no woman. Then be strong. Be like Caesar. I am not Caesar. You're not. You feel this beating heart? That's life you feel. Not a dead king, not a memory. That's me. Mark Antony, here with you. Right now. I'm not your sport, General. Now go away.
me in Egypt. Time is slower there. Exquisitely slow. Then I will. After you break your alliance with Octavius. Do you have any idea what that would mean? It would be civil war. Tear Rome apart. Then you'll never see me again. Do you accept my terms? Do you, my love? Don't ask me that. Answer me. Petra, please. I need you to answer no. me. No. No. I can't go against my country. Then go back to your superiors in Rome. Soldier. You're late! No, I'm just not as obsessively punctual as you, Octavius. Caesar! Not Octavius. That title. That has to be earned, Octavius. <clears throat> we have called this meeting to divide all Roman provinces between the two of you as co-consuls for the sake of Rome. The last thing we want is another civil war. I do not want such a war. I just don't care for the arrogance of a man who thinks he can succeed Caesar. Caesar himself chose me as his heir. You deceived him into thinking you were worthy. Silence, you two. Both of you were allies in war. We expect you to be allies in peace, to govern the empire equally. As long as he stays on his side of the world and I'll stay on mine. And I'll take the lands to the east, including Egypt. <laughs> of course. Who better to govern a land of such decadence and luxury? That would be agreeable, except that I have business in Egypt. If you want to avoid a civil war, then you will stay out of Egypt. You can have everything else. Take it or leave it. Very well, then. I'll take Spain, Gaul, and Africa. Then it's agreed. The East for Antony, the West for Octavius. I mean, Caesar. Are we understood? Mm -hmm. Well, that depends. A private pact between two powers can be a frail thing. I think our new friendship requires a more personal guarantee. Meaning what, exactly? A more binding union. 
I have a sister, Octavia. You have no wife? You'd be a member of our family. Then our interest would be the same. I'll even make you a wedding present. The Roman legions in Gaul. Do you accept? marriage to Octavia. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please awaken. Do not destroy yourself for the sake of Antony. Do not name that traitor! This is me. And there, on the right. Are you? But it doesn't look like me. It's not supposed to. All fairers are made to look alike, because our line is timeless and unchanging. Well, forgive me. I didn't mean to frighten you. My brethren and I welcome your daughter of Isis to the Temple of the Sun. Why are you here, goddess? I thought it was time for my son to learn about our gods. And... Perhaps find answers about myself? About my destiny? You'll find them here. Come with me. such as yourself, it's a gift. The fangs of the cobra can take you directly to the gods.
Marian? Marian! Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Where's my navy? Yes, Where's my uh, army? Get where, me the generals! Where? Get me the admirals! The Romans are attacking! <laughs> it's Mark Antony, Your Majesty. Alexandria has taken a liking to Lord Antony. Queen. My most unexpected guest. In my humble respects, King Ptolemy Caesar, Lord of Two Lands. This little creature managed to find its way onto my ship. I thought perhaps you might make you a suitable companion. I hope you and he can become great friends. Thank you, General. Why have you come? Are you here to collect taxes, steal grain for your dip's debt? Inspect your conquest? I'm here to taste Egypt's pleasures. And to bear you a fine gift. Myself. Our candidate comes not to conquer Egypt, but to surrender to her charms. I have no feelings for Octavia. I only did that to guarantee peace. You are my friend, yet you married my worst enemy sister. No reason, Octavia the greatest the soldier in the world become the greatest reason, liar? I had to I secure the East you. in order to protect you. To protect you Octavia has a plan to stay out of Egypt. And you believe? Would you please be silent? God, so well. How could you? you? Forget Octavia. <laughs> I married for convenience. Now I live for love. Cleopatra, there is a great noise in my heart. In my eyes, they are clear now because I see only you. Everything I could ever want, everything I could ever treasure is right here with you. I give myself to you, my queen. I'm yours now. In the eyes of the gods, we are already one. I give myself. I give myself to Egypt. <laughs> about your country. Mm. I want to learn everything about it. Every detail. Mm. No, I haven't felt this alive since... Let's talk about the past. My life is just beginning. <laughs> I stand before you with all the might of Rome, and I hereby declare that Queen Cleopatra, widow of Gaius Julius Caesar, was his once true and legal wife. And that that child, Ptolemy 
Caesar is the true, legitimate, and only son of great Caesar! Come forth, young Caesar. Let your people see you. That I, Marcus Antonius, have renounced my false Roman marriage and have taken as my wife, Queen Cleopatra. And as a token to this great union, I hereby bequeath to the throne of Ptolemy, the land of Syria, to the limits of its borders. Not only does he proclaim an Egyptian bastard as heir to Rome, he secedes the wealth of Syria to a foreign power. Oh, now, far be it from me to say that Mark Antony is not an honorable man. Yeah. Yet there he remains, in the east, yeah. wallowing in the mud with the whore of the Nile, oh, swelling her back, yeah. caught by the same hook as Caesar. I submit to you, fellow Romans, that Mark Antony has broken the pact between us. He has, he has. For the good of the empire, I, as co-consul, must do as Roman justice commands me. Yes! Generals Gratius and Cornelius. Try one of these cakes. They're hard to come by in Gaul. What are you doing here? I've come to take command. These are Antony's men. Do you have a letter from Antony? Antony is no longer relevant to Roman affairs. His thoughts are only of Egypt, Cleopatra. I will not surrender the Gallic legions unless Antony personally instructs me to do so. Then you will die. These men are loyal to Antony! Yes, but they will follow your lead. Wonderful with a child. I shouldn't wonder. He's a child himself. He would do well not to disparage Antony in my presence. Are you that much in love with him? Is your judgment that clouded? I am in love, Olympus. But my mind is clear. Egypt needs him. We need Antony's strength. You haven't really tested his strength, only his weaknesses. What do you mean? You are strong, my queen. You have the metal to seize and heal the world. But Antony, 
He wants only to seize you. And that makes him weak. You're wrong, Olympus. Antony does share the vision. And he's not weak. What is it? Why have you come to Alexandria? Your Lordship, Octavius has stolen your legions in Gaul. General Cornelius? Dead. He's deliberately flaunting me. Octavius has broken his pledge. Imperator, go to Rome. Take your grievance to the Senate. Strike first. That's what you said, isn't it? A civil war? Romans against Romans, Antony. You must talk to the Senate. You take the world before it takes you. We will not wait for Octavius to come to us. We will go to him. I don't like it. What don't you like, General? It's a bad business, attacking by sea. If we really mean to defeat them, we should do it the Roman way. Strike quickly, by land. Octavius has us blockaded inside the Gulf, General. We have no choice. We must fight our way out. But, General, it's full of dangers. The enemy is upon us, comrades! Prepare your stations! It will be decided here. May the gods favor us. Anthony thinks this is a cavalry charge. It's a mighty one. Patience, patience. We'll draw him in. He's going too fast. He's too far forward. He's sailing into a trap.
Lady, we must find him. His flagship sank, Your Majesty. He might still be alive. Forgive me, but he can't survive that. Octavius will be searching for you, my queen. I can't leave him here. I must do something. You must save yourself while you can. For Egypt! Them ready to hoist before Alexandria. Our victory says? You heard me. Now do it. As you wish, Your Highness. Exactly as I wish. Place the garlands on the bow, on the mast as well. Have the men ready to sing a victory chant before we sail into Alexandria. I shall not allow my people to see their queen in defeat. Turn from me now. Don't turn from Egypt. It's over. Leave us. Leave us! Oh, I thought you were dead. I am dead. No, no, don't say that. This place is like a gigantic tomb. Stay here long enough, one becomes mummified. You deserted me. They told me you were dead. What should I have done? We saw something tonight that I could not believe. A city in victory. I had to buy time to 
keep my people from panic, to organize a defense. A defense? What defense? Octavius has defeated us completely. He has not defeated me. I still rule Egypt. How? By lying to your people? How could you let them believe we've triumphed when we failed so miserably? We will triumph, Antony. We will make that falsehood come true. Would you humiliate me with this vile hypocrisy? As if I haven't been humiliated enough! Be quiet! Your men will hear you. My men? What men? The bottom of the sea is littered with the bones of my Do you men. see how four legions the loyalty? four legions! Have you given up hope? Perhaps I have. Caesar once stopped a whole army with only two legions. I am not Caesar. I am not a god. I am not a king! I'm a man! I'm just a man who reached for too big a prize! Where is he now? Octavius has taken Pelusium. That quickly. Give these to Rufio. Have him deliver them to Octavius. But these are the emblems of your office. Send them to him with this letter. I am offering my abdication if he'll spare Caesarion and let him sit on the throne of Egypt. Why, Your Majesty? Has it really come to this? There is no other recourse. We must buy time. Go now. Octavius has reached Ashkelon. Ashkelon is weeks away from Alexandria. Come and dance with us. Come on, purge your demons. How long are you going to stay drunk? How would you prefer me? Perhaps riding in the head of four legions <laughs> to meet him in battle for yet another victory celebration? A true king is not a coward! I am not a coward. I am merely a fool in exile. No place to hide except my wife's country. <laughs> Enough! Enough, everybody out! Out! Be well. I trusted you. I believed in you. I. I believed in your strength. Could I have misjudged you? You misjudged yourself. It may be your nature to see victory and defeat, but it is not mine, I fear. I fear. <laughs> I fear. I fear. I fear I can lead no more. Oh, I should have died. I should have... Where's my sword? I have a sword, but... I must die. I must die with honor. Because my men believed in me. I must die. Give me, must die. Give me my sword. Give me my sword. I must have my honor. That's no honor. Is this how you want them to remember you? A man who no longer believed in himself. Stand up. Stand up and fight. Be a man. Be a man. 
I'm gonna be your man! <laughs> You may tell your Queen Rufio that I have received her tokens of submission and am most grateful. As to the request to spare her son, I cannot answer that for the moment. Why are you still loyal to her? Has she enchanted you as well? I'm under orders from Caesar. Caesar to is dead. I am Caesar now. You could be my ears in Alexandria. Very well, then. Tell her that before I can accept her offer, I would require some gesture of sincerity. Tell her to deliver to me the head of Mark Antony. Let me go. forsake your country, your own child, not for love. It would be like stabbing my own heart. Better Antony than Egypt. Better that than your own son's life. Take the knife. I want to share something with you. Come. What's this? Another temple of death? It's my tomb, Antony. When I die, it will be sealed tight. Here's where I'll lie, but not be confined. Beyond flesh, I will journey to the next life and back at will. And there, my sweet, noble king, I have reserved a place for you to travel with me. I would lie anywhere with you, Cleopatra. But I'm not ready to accept death. Not, not yet. But tonight I had a dream. I was winning a great battle in the desert. Even the ground was in my favor. Octavius' army was marching on impossible terrain. No place to deploy, nowhere to maneuver his army. If I strike him, and I strike him hard and fast, I can stop his momentum. And finish him in the desert? So we may finally realize your vision. Uniting east and west in a new golden age of light and of love.
Anthony! Let me and my men come with you. No. I need someone here I can trust. You'll see that the Queen is safe. All my life. Caesarea. I haven't seen him of late. Why do you wish to know? No reason. I fear for his safety, that is all. I'm sworn to protect him, as well as yourself, Your Majesty. Thank you, Rufio. For your loyalty. of us to be six legions. Imperata, we must withdraw. You lost your courage, Tim. It's not a question of courage. These are Roman soldiers. It's not right for them to have to fight their fellow countrymen. We fight to win, Commander.
Let's get Zarek out of the city now. A land of many wonders. Aren't you coming with me? No. Mama has to stay here. Are you going to die? No. No. I don't want you to die. I don't want to go. What news? I couldn't stop them! Too many! Batavius is coming! You must go, my son. You know why? Because you are the future of Egypt. I don't want to go! I don't want to go! You will be safe with me. He is Egypt. That is all. I've ever lived for. And now, he must live for you. the city, Octavius' army will be here within the hour. No! Army. I will wait for my king. Your majesty. There are documents that have to be destroyed. Go, go! Have you seen Caesarea? Where is he? Have you seen the child? Where's the child? Get out of the way! What you doing here? Your queen needs your guard. Where's the boy? He's not here by the blessings of Isis. Not here? What do you mean? It doesn't matter. He's safe. Listen to me, Mardian. Caesarian is in grave danger. Now you must tell me where to find him. Yes. I promised the queen that I... I'm the only one that can protect him! He's out of the country, isn't he? Where? Judea? Syria? No matter. We'll find him. Why are you doing this? How can he turn against your queen? She's not my queen, you fat little fool! I answer only to Rome! Traitor! Traitor! Did you kill the 
boy. yourself to me. She alive? Uh, I don't know. Get the battering ram. Caesar. So, Anthony has gone to join Caesar. No. He's here with me. Take the riches of Egypt, then let me die properly. I have no desire for you to die. I've conquered a great country, a great queen. It's my wish that you accompany me to Rome. You can walk me behind your chariot. Your Egyptian prize? Octavius' trophy? That would do, yes. I answer to no earthly superior, much less a mortal like yourself. I am a goddess. I am immortal. Ah, uh, yes, the daughter of Isis. You and I are very much alike. Compelled to follow our own natures. Fulfill our destinies. But I have won, Cleopatra, and you will come to Rome.
I will come with you to Rome. But I want something in return. Anything. I can be very generous. Let my son rule Egypt. Not for the moment, no. Then let me give Antony an Egyptian burial. Here, in this place. And I will come to you as the Queen of Egypt. Bowing to the might of Rome. Very well. I need time to prepare. And the emblems of my office. Of course you can have them. I have no use for them. I have what I want. Why weren't you here to protect me, Rufio? I regret that it was not possible, Your Majesty. We need to be alone to pray, away from Roman eyes. I'm afraid I can't allow that. You should know our ways by now. Don't you trust me? I've trusted you all these years. from Caesar. <laughs> Egypt and Rome have always been close. Magnificent, isn't it? on your journey.
a longer journey than you may care to take. We have no one but you. You're our only world. Then we shall go to the next world together. Queen? Your queen accepts Caesar as her friend and sovereign. What is that? of the Nile. The Nile will rise and fall. Leave us. Wait for me. You've won, Cleopatra. Farewell, Egypt. 